Hello future doctors, welcome to Career360. Yesterday, MCC declared the third round of counselling results. Right. And here we actually, what we are about to show at this point in time, only for deemed universities, what are the kind of ranks, closing ranks that you have for all the deemed universities and what are your chances of getting into one of these deemed universities. Remember, there will also be a stray round once the states declare their own results. And then some of those students who move from the deemed universities to state counselling, those seats also would be available at a stray round. But at this point in time, what we are about to show you is the third round counselling closing cutoff of all the 57 deemed universities and what are your chances of you getting into it is something that you'll get to know in 4-5 days time because the stray round you know, seat matrix will be declared by the end of next week hopefully and you'll also get to know how many more seats are there in each of these deemed universities and we'll do another video on them to explain to you what are your chances at that point in time. But at this point in time, what are we doing? You know, zeroing in or at this point in time on the third round counselling and where, where do you stand and what kind of colleges have what kind of cutoffs is what we're doing. So as we said, you know, there are 58 deemed universities that we're talking about and what we're doing here is from round one to round three, what kind of cutoffs were there and what are your chances of getting into the whole thing. KMC, which of course is the best private medical college in the country. It's been there for the last 75, 80 years. In the first round, it was 40,008 is your cutoff. Second round, it went up to 43,835. In third round, it actually fell. To 31,834, which essentially means some candidates have given up their seats in government medical colleges and have come here because they believe that KMC is far better than paying a lesser price possibly in a government medical college because they really believe that KMC imparts the best education. So you actually have this falling. In fact, in all good medical colleges, you see that even in the stray round, the rank actually falls. It doesn't increase. Normally, the tendency should be that with each passing round, the closing cutoff should increase. But in the better medical colleges, some students give up your, the government seats and jump out to the private medical college because they believe in better education and that's where they come here. Or facilities or infrastructure, whatever it is. So you actually have this falling down. Same thing happened with Simbasis Medical College for Women also. 47,592 in round 1, 50,473 in round 2. By the time you came down to third round, it became 42,465. Same thing with again KMC Mangalore. It is the same branch. This one and this one are the same people. KMC Mangalore. 52 466 in first round, 57 121 in second round, 42 965 in third round. Then Manipal, again, these are also the same people. You, if you now look at it, there are three institutions which are coming from the Manipal group, and all of them are doing extremely well in terms of attracting the best quality students to join them. Here, by third round, it fell down to 48703, which is about 79,000 in round two. So the learning here is, if you want to get into one of these colleges, please take it in round two, because in round three, if your expectation is that it, the rank will fall and you have a better chance, no, it doesn't happen that way. Then KSEGDE Medical Academy in Mangalore, 1,5741, 135 and 137. From here, you will actually see the numbers going up, which is expected. It's only in KMC and Symbiosis that the rank actually falls. Then Rural Medical College in PMS Loney, 1,39,826 for the round 3 cutoff. GSS Medical College, very good college out there, 1,67,972 is a closing cutoff. MGM Medical College in Navi Mumbai, 1,91,102 is a closing cutoff. Then the next bunch, Jawaharlal Nehru Medical College in Belgavi, 1,96,759 is a closing cutoff. You again see that you know it's only increasing from here on. You will very clearly see this. But for KMCs, all the three KMCs, everywhere it will keep increasing. Kalinga Institute of Medical Sciences in Bhuvaneshwar, 2,2084 is the round 3 cutoff. Again, I'm repeating, there will also be a stray round. A lot more seats will still be vacant here. And at the stray round, which will keep watching us for the next one week, you will notice that by the end of next week, we'll come out with a seat matrix for the stray round, which essentially means the number of seats that are still vacant in all these medical colleges. So, and we can also advise you of what are your chances of getting into it. Just talk to us, mail us or message us and we'll be happy to get on to call with you and explain to you. Right. Then you have SDU Medical College in Kolar, 2,34,972. Lalita Mai Medical College in Chennai, 2,52,000. Here it's actually fallen if you notice this. Right. Then Amrita Institute of Medical Sciences, a very good medical college in Kochi, 2,80,088. MGA Medical College, Aurangabad, 2,97,942. BLD University in Bijapur, 3,2,000. Mahatma Gandhi Mission Medical College at Vashi, 3,17,000. Then you have Sri Ramachandra Medical College, one of the better medical colleges out there, 3,32,238. 
Amrita School of Medicine in Faridabad, which is one of the largest hospitals out there in the country. You know, I think it's 2,000 bedded or something like that. The closing cutoff is 3,76,143. Mahatma Gandhi Mission Medical College in Nerul, 3,85,775. Jagadguru Gangadhar Mahaswami Galo Medical College, 3,94,117. Institute of Medical Science in SUM Hospital in Bhuvaneshwar, 3,96,950. Institute of Medical Science in Bhuvaneshwar again, 3,98,720. Sri Siddhartha Medical College in Tumkur, 4,2746. Yennapoya Medical College in Mangalore, 4,4110. So you suddenly are now jumping onto the 4 lakh, 3 lakh to 4 lakh bracket. It will keep increasing as you see that. And to that extent, you also see the quality of the institution, by the way, because the higher the rank, it means possibly it is the mo not the most preferred. And to that extent, students perceive it to be not as good as what the other ones are because mind you all deemed universities are almost charging similarly so how is it that one college gets a better ranked student as compared to another college ranked student so that's what we are talking about Malaradi Institute of Medical Sciences 4,57,986 MM Institute of Med Medical Science Mulana 4,76,344 Savita Medical College in Chennai 5,10,694 Sri Siddhartha Institute of Medical Sciences 5,11,243 this is in Bengaluru D.Y. Patil Medical College in Pune, 5,25,844. Rajarajeshwari Medical College in Bangalore, 5,26,412. SBKS Medical Institute of Research Center, Vadodara, 5,35,000. D.Y. Patil Medical College in Navi, Mumbai, 5,35,775. Then you have D.Y.P. Education in Kolhapur, 5,54,134. Malaradi Medical College for Women. So one you have normal college and then you have one college for women as far as Malaradi is concerned in Hyderabad. It is 5,62,310. Graphic Era Institute of Medical Sciences, 5,82,337. Santosh Medical College and Hospital, Ghaziabad, 5,88,923. JLN Medical College, Ajmer, 5,96,063. Bharti Vidya Pit, Deem University Medical College, Pune, 6,06,370. Krishna Institute of Medical Sciences, Karad, 6,10,201. Wales Medical College and Hospital, Thiruvallur, 6,10,538. Then Geetham Institute, 6,15,974. Mahatma Gandhi Mission Medical College in Panvel, 624-436. Datta Mege Medical College, Nagpur, 642-393. BMKB Medical College and Hospital, Salem, 656-654. Meenakshi Medical College in, in Kanchipuram, 657-379. D.Y. Patel University of Medical Sciences, Pune, 6,61,567. B.B. Dean University Medical College and Hospital, Sangli, 665-302. Vinayaka Missions Medical College and Hospital, Karekal, 693-547. Then SRM Medical College and Hospital in Chennai. This is a very good college. I'm surprised it came down so low. It's 7,4056. ACS Medical College and Hospital Chennai, 736-125. Arupadai Vidu Medical College and Hospital in Puducherry, 755-831. Chetinad Hospital and Research Centre in Kanchipuram, 768-688. Sri Satyasai Medical College and Research Centre in Chennai, 8,11,496. And the last five here. Mahatma Gandhi Medical College in Puducherry, 8,14,210. Sri Balaji Medical College and Hospital in Chennai, 854-232. Bharat Medical College and Hospital in Chennai, 870-855. Sri Lakshmi Narayana Institute of Medical Sciences, 874-293. JR Medical College and Hospital Chennai, 9,3981. So these are 58 medical colleges here. Again, I'm saying there will be a stray round. There will be a stray round once the state exam counselling results, MCC results are reported because all the students report to each of these colleges and some students don't take it. And once those, that happens, all these medical, deemed medical universities also possibly will have some more seats that are vacant. If you need help, please write to us or call us up on this number that you can see here. And we'll be more than happy to help you, counsel you and tell you what are your chances of getting into a medical college. But the stray round would be there. This is not the end of it. There will be a stray round. Every year there has been a stray round and a few more seats will come in. And I hope that you get a college of your choice. Thank you so much. Namaste.